afternoon guys it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling welcome back to my channel uh, it's a video this afternoon just to share with you before I start to write in it um, a flip through of my um, new scripture journal um, I remember I don't know if you remember I my one of my first uh, journals that I made for myself was my scripture journal um, which I called imagine the time and I've done flip throughs of that one but it lasted about a year because I started it in last March and it finished probably beginning of January. This is this one here has been sort of kind of three quarters done for months and months and months. Well, a couple of months, maybe three. Anyway, long story short is that I do need um, I've got a couple of special occasions coming up in my congregation and I really wanted um, a new uh, to, to actually get it done. So I've taken this morning. Um, just put this morning aside to actually put the pages in and finish the cover. Um, I had them all chosen from a little while ago. Well, I've been collecting bits and pieces for a while. Um, so this is a hardback book that I've actually customised. Um, and I haven't counted the pages yet, but I probably will. It's hot off the press and I've called it Imagine the Time 2 little bit rough around the edges I'm still going to be finishing bits and pieces off in it and adding to it and I'll probably turn the camera on for that to be honest but what I've used um I picked this card up oh three years ago and I put it in an in a another journal a scripture journal um uh but I didn't use it and I just love the picture it's very it reminds me it's quite Enid Blyton might be 1930s 40s maybe 50s I'm not sure these little girls on the beach feeling really secure and I just love I just love the image I love the colors and I love the feel I love the era so I wanted that to be the the feature of my second um, imagine the time and let me just open it up stop waffling uh, yeah so I've done four signatures and I've filled it with the things I absolutely love so, for instance, this uh, paper was in Daphne's diary maybe three or four issues back. And I, as soon as I saw it, I loved it. I took it out and um, put it to one side because I really wanted it to be in the back of my, to cover my, the inside of my new journal. Um, it's beautiful. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of like, um, like a little cityscape, but in gorgeous colours gorgeous colours so that's the inside and I've just put little lace pockets um, that vibrant green lace um, you've seen quite a lot of and these I'm going to pop in here and there these little cards uh, this is from a calendar a calendar that I, I've, I've got and some of the cent a couple of the centres are there anyway it's beautiful beautiful can't remember the artist's name I'll, I'll try and um, pop it down I didn't I couldn't make up my mind to be honest I wanted this to be the cover of the first signature and then I saw this picture and I wanted that to be the cover of the first signature and then I wanted that so I've popped them all in and um, um, it's beautiful this here this and this you'll see a lot of it's from um, a, a book a Kath Kidston book all about vintage fabrics and what to do with them and it just filled with these beautiful images so I, I really did um, take this book apart and put these aside for my new scripture journal because I love them. I'll probably cover this so I can make make notes on it. I put coloured paper in, tea, uh, tea dye. And if you remember, I featured this. It's one of my a beautiful book. And um, I have featured it in my here and there and um, three journals taken to bits, but I put the cover in here for me. Little houseplant book that I bought years ago about two years back and uh, pulled these cut these out because I just loved I love these uh, pages out for me uh, this is from um, a little book I think it was calm or something from last spring and it had different um, pages in for putting gardening notes and all sorts of things in that's from my Kath Kidston the Kath Kidston book I think which I love so I'll pop that in uh, this is just a greetings card. This is the book on Victorian country gardens, I think. You've seen a lot of that in my different um, journals. Royal Horticultural Society diary, this one. 
Uh, this is another little book that I picked up. Um, it's on beautiful paper and it's a, a Aged America sort of gardening in a city. And uh, she basically does some fantastic illustrations and I took some of the pages out for my journal. And there's going to be a few of those. This particular signature is a bit of a strange one because I typed, put it all in and then I realised that half of the pages I hadn't sewn in so I tipped them in. So I've gone back in and done that. As you can see here, that's from the calendar, which is beautiful. It's this year's calendar and uh, paintings from a particular artist and they're, they're lovely. So I've, I've filled my journal with them because I think they're absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And this is from the latest Daphne's Diary, um, a little colouring page with the uh, flowers in. And I had meant to sew this in, but I ticked it in anyway. I think, guys, as I go along, I'm going to pop tabs in and I've yet to do uh, maybe washi and stamping. That's from that beautiful American ladies book. Uh, this is Kath Kidston, I think. Royal Horticultural Society Diary. This is from my book. Give you an idea, guys, of th uh, all sorts of things really that you can pop into your journals. Just fill it filled with things that you like. I've put some coloured paper in. This is coloured card actually. A bit of washi on the the centre of this Kath Kidston uh, page. I didn't want to lose the the. Uh, I didn't want to lose the picture on the other side. Houseplant book, absolutely beautiful. Charity shop jobby. And that's the other side of that um, poem, poetry book. And I've put the tips some of this paper in from that calm um, little notepad. This was from a... Um, this paper was from a scrapbooking magazine and I got a couple of months back with some beautiful stamps and as soon as I saw the colours on this uh, and in fact I featured this in my day book as well um, done a spread recently I just love the colours such a beautiful use of, um, of contrasting colours so I popped that in this I tipped uh, I've kind of pinned in um, I haven't done anything with it yet this is the that side of the Kath Kidston sort of book and that's all the writing so I will actually cover that so I can write on it I can journal on there pop my notes on but it's just so beautiful and I may even I may even put fabric in as well have a clips again that's from that calm book um, you can see that and that's the other side of the calendar calendar page Second signature, uh, this is from the Kath Kidston book again. If you get a chance, if you come across this book, guys, um, snap it up because it's lovely for your journals. Lovely, 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 lovely to, or just to look at, to be honest. So this is all from that book. This was a, like a writing set. This is, um, yeah, Waitrose um, floral. Um, sort of flyer giveaway type thing I love these and I might just put little um, little notelets or label stickers on there and I can write them on those I like the way quite try to layer that and that worked RHS society book again now the story of this, this page, these pages are from the Flow magazine. Um, hold on a moment. This absolutely beautiful, 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 beautiful. Um, I picked up um, it's um, oh, not Reader's Digest. What was it called? Um, I'll show you. It looked really quite dry from the outside. Yeah, it was quite unusual. Yes, it was this. The Shell Natural History of Britain. Actually, Shell as in the garage shell. Um, and it's from 1970, I think. It was £2.50 initially. Anyway, it's got the most gorgeous images in it. So I picked that one out. Uh, there's another one I'll show you um, a bit further. It's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, um, 
so that's that and then I was talking that's the other side of that image isn't it beautiful if I can show you how I got the other side of it oh I'll show you when you get to it anyway Daphne's diary Daphne's diary Kath Kidston book Kath Kidston that was a travel diary that I picked up in the charity shop a little while ago take that to bits now, yeah, Flow Magazine in January, it's the only time I've, I've ever bought it, did like a little giveaway. Um, so these are pages from a, a journal, like a writing thing. Um, so you can write all about your favourite books and it's encouraging, you know, book reading, etc, etc. And they featured an artist again who did these beautiful illustrations. And I, I've, I've featured two or three of those I pulled them out immediately for my book because I absolutely love them. I love the colours and um, they, they're gorgeous. So I popped those in. This was the thing that maybe started me off on, um, well, customising my own notebooks, um, particularly for my scripture study, etc, etc, a few years ago because I couldn't find anything I really liked. And then I came across, at the other side of the Kath Kidston, I came across junk journaling. And I haven't looked back since, really. That's from that uh, English poetry book. This was um, a cut-off from, uh, from one of the shell, the other side of that page, um, from the shell book. Japanese diary. I think this is, just, this is just still two. This is the other side. Side. No, that's from the poetry book, and that's from the other side of that shell book. Make sure I don't go over too much time. Oh, Kath Kidston, Royal Horticultural Society. I'm going to have such fun working in this. Such fun. For my notes, I, I wanted... Um, I really needed uh, my notebook for tonight, so um, that's why I've taken some time out to just get it done, rather than sitting with all these piles of papers and half-finished covers. This is from the Flow magazine. Uh, this that's the cover of the second signature, and it's the illustration. Uh, so that's that's the other side of it. Absolutely beautiful. Love the colours again. And I thought it went really well with the colours of this signature from the Kath Kidston book. This here, this here is from the Shell magazine um, book. I hope you can see it. I was almost going to do it as a centre spread. I couldn't, I couldn't make up my mind. Almost kept it for something else. Um, so that's that side. And can I find the other side? That's no, it's not that side. Uh, oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Anyway, try not to be too long. Music paper, nature book. That's uh, from the calendar. That's from that uh, from the cal from the calendar pages. Bit of tea dyed paper. A lot of the Kath Kidston. And this is another of the flow book um, illustrations. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Just love the combination of colours again. And I've done with that. The only problem being with the flow um, pictures is that it, because of the way it was, it's, it was, it was presented like a calendar, so the text on the back is um, upside down, but I will deal with that. But I just love that combination of colours. The music paper, this is the title page of a music uh, piano book. That's the other side of that shell magazine, uh, shell book. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely stunning. Stunning illustrations. Um, so if you ever see one of those, it looks a bit boring on the outside. Have to flip through. It's got some lovely, really nice bits and pieces in there. 
we've got retro fabric. That's from the other side of that. Yeah, that's the other side of the Flow magazine um, spread. It is scrapbook paper, a bit of Kath Kidston, different coloured papers I've popped in with the Kath Kidston. This was from this month's Dif Daphne's Diary. Absolutely love it. The cover um, was on the inside cover, that's what's in it. So I've saved that for a traveller's notebook that I want to do, a day, one of my day books. And this was the sort of did uh, introduction introductory page. So I'll pop that in. Another Waitrose um, uh, floral catalog. It's a beautiful card actually. This is from. I can do that. That's from the calendar. That's from the calendar. And I've saved a couple of the calendar images. Look at that from the Royal Horticultural Society. Mm. I've saved a couple of pages for another book, to be honest, because it's beautiful. So that's another of the calendar pages, I think. I don't know. I should have really probably popped that in the middle. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, anyway. And that was the last one. I probably should have put the calendar page in the middle there, but I like that. And that's what I did first of all, so. Probably that wouldn't look so good, sort of half. I don't know. Bit of uh, Edith Holden, a bit of tea dyed. On the side of that calendar page, and I've teamed it up with some coloured paper. Daphne's Diary, colouring page. Royal Horticultural Society, I think it's 2004 that diary, but it's not been used. Oh, I love that. Beautiful, beautiful. Again, that's from the, the calendar. It's quite junky, quite an eclectic mix of different things, yet to pop some bits on here. I'm learning because the last one, I did this one, this one, the first one I did took me absolutely ages because I completed every single page before I started using it. It took me ages to do. And it's only with sort of watching people journal that I realise that you can put things together and you can add things as you go along, customise it. But I can use this tonight, which I'm going to do. There we go. And that's the back. I will probably be putting something on the back, I think. I might turn the camera on to do that. Um, but not today, because I think with this one, I did decorate the back as well as the front too. So that's it, guys. That's my Imagine the Time 2. Uh, probably take me the next year or so to fill this one up with lovely things. Um, thank you for watching. Um, for those who are new to the channel, thank you for subscribing. I hope you enjoy the journey. Just finishing off the um, collection, linen collection with the uh, chrysanthemums on. Uh, finish off the pre-order for that. Um, so these are all done. And in the next couple of days, I should be... Well, I don't know when I'm, I'm going to release this. So by the time I release this video, I might have actually released these anyway. So I don't know what I'm talking about. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.